before we get into today's video, I need to ask you guys for a big favor. Actually, it's a huge favor, maybe even monumental. Over the years, you guys have shown me the absolute most support that anyone could ask for, and I'm extremely grateful for that. I literally would not be in the position that I'm in today if it was not for you guys. So first off, I just wanted to say thank you. I love you guys. Now, the next thing I'm gonna ask of you is I know a lot of you guys over here on YouTube love when I post vlogs and stuff like that. I haven't been posting that many vlogs. I feel like I'm struggling to get content and be creative, especially with the way that the weather has been down here in Florida lately. It has just been raining so much. And you guys will see that in the vlog. Every night for the past seven nights, I've been streaming over on Twitch. You guys know I've done a lot of streaming over there. I came back, hit YouTube hard, kind of started slacking over on Twitch, but right now I am trying to find an equal balance between vlogging and streaming on Twitch. Streaming is something that I truly enjoy because I can interact with you guys live. You guys are able to ask me questions, talk in the chat. I respond to you guys. We have conversations. It's really, really fun. Let me just play this clip for you guys so you guys can see what you're missing out on over on Twitch. So yeah, we've been playing Fall Guys. You guys have been joining up in the games. But the reason that I'm putting this part in today's vlog is because we're only 7,000 followers away from hitting 100,000 followers over on Twitch. So if you guys could, if you've never experimented with Twitch before, create a Twitch account. It's literally free. Drop a follow on my Twitch. The link is going to be right in the top of the description. Tune into one of the live streams and see if you have some fun and enjoy it. We also play Warzone on Tuesdays. We do Terror Tuesdays where we play horror games and you guys can scare the crap out of me while I'm playing the game. I am trying my absolute hardest to hit 100,000 followers over on Twitch. It's going to be a huge milestone for me. And I'm almost positive that with your guys' help, we can definitely do it. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys deeply. Let's get into today's video. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. Dalton's back from his second vacation. Second. No yeah, he, he's leaving again tomorrow. No more. He's been gone for like two weeks. I just headed over to Advance Auto, picked up some oil for the Hellcat. Gonna be doing an oil change today. I was supposed to do this last week, but honestly was just too lazy and had too much stuff going on to bring the car up here. What the hell is head doing? Is that, is that what he's yes. doing? Was he on the phone? Yes. Oh my God. Well, Bryce is here as well. We got the Crustang here. Crustang one and Crustang two. Yeah, you can hear his car with the dumps on it. <laughs> he just made sucking motion through the windshield. I don't know if you guys can see. Also, we're gonna be doing some suspension work to Bryce's car today as well. So, gonna be a busy day up at the shop. Well, while he's figuring that out, should we just do the oil change or what? Or do you wanna do his first? Just let your shit cool down first. Let it cool down? That's gonna be hot. Like, it's gonna be hot for a while though, cause it's hot outside. And then once I start it up to pull it in here, it's just gonna get hot again. It ain't gonna be that hot when you go to pull it in. What do you get, like a wheel hop eliminator kit? He's got the stop the hop kit and then an IRS brace kit. But pretty much just keeps everything in the rear as one. That's what we're working on today. JC's pipes are still over here. When are those getting put on? Supposed to be tomorrow. Supposed to be tomorrow? Yeah. No women allowed, get out of here. It's boys only day. So yeah, that's what we got going on at the shop today. Not only that, but with the humidity right now, I need to stand in front of the fan because I think it's like 103 degrees right now with the humidity. So it's definitely toasty. And of course, my dumb ass, you guys know, I only wear black t-shirts because I feel like it makes me look a little bit more slim. Definitely a con of wearing black shirts is you get like seven degrees hotter than I would if I was wearing like a white tee. What the hell are you doing to this thing? I gotta fix the connection for her sub. Why does it keep cutting in and out? No, we had to replace the battery yesterday and the guy that did the wiring for this kind of- you know, it up? Yeah. Here we are at Cody's Custom Fab Shop. If you guys need any uh, fab work done, as long as it doesn't involve welding or metal, just let me know if it has to do with using a Dremel and burning plastic, I'm definitely your guy. We got professional work here today. We got him doing my bumper. Rear valence delete. He probably already told you guys we're doing a stop to hop shit. Dalton's a goat installing that. And then you got Cody in his own in his own element. Look at the precise trip. Well, right now we're just going through. Bryce wanted to take off his rear valence. So he took the valence off, but it has all the inserts for the clips of the valence. So right now I'm going through trimming off the bulk of them. I'm gonna change out the cutting wheel on the Dremel, put on a sanding wheel, and make it all nice and smooth. That's the plan anyways. It's my first time doing this, so can't really guarantee Yeah, it. and I was thinking that he had done it before, but now I'm now finding out that he has 
never done it. Fat rear bumper delete here, looking clean. Got about 75 year old rotors. We're back, take two. We're three hours in, Cody's still on the same piece as we're not three hours in, it's literally been three seconds. Or watch your tone before I cut your off. He's been, wow. Everything's always about yeah, we also don't have sawhorses at the shop, so as you can see, we're using our macrameated sawhorse right here. This is actually a craftsman chair from, I believe, Walmart. I think it's like 15 bucks. Seems to be doing the job. I'm over here vlogging. They're working on my car. So from Bryce Chronicles, we're having a little trouble here with the Stop the Hop kit. We got some, we got some uh, live footage of Dolph Tizzy aggravated. Aggravated as a mother. Aggravated as the mf -er. That's what he says. Cody's over here. He's having the time of his life. Look at his Ray-Bans though. Nobody talked about the Ray-Bans. All right, vlog. This is what I feed my children. This is their fuel. Nicotine. We got a Ruby Red 10R80. The goat car. Ah, oh, bro, look at this. We're missing the horse. Show my ass. Your dad. My dad? Yeah. Uh, my dad's on the other side. We got another Ruby Red. I'm, I'm sure you guys know Dalton's car. I'm sure Cody's showed you guys this car 800 times. Starboy Carl's car. That's Carl's 392. So I finally got the rare valence delete done on Bryce's Mustang. Went through, cleaned it up a little bit. It definitely ain't perfect because I didn't have a sanding wheel for the Dremel, like a little sanding bit. So I just had to use the cutting wheel that I had and make do, but it actually came out pretty good. Give you guys a view from the straight back. Looks pretty damn good. There's some more shit underneath there that you can cut, but for right now, it's good enough. Alrighty, so we got all the suspension work done. Don's gonna take it out for a spin because Bryce is too much of a pussy to drive his own car. Watch, if he goes right and he gets on it, you'll be able to hear it. You better hurry up though, because uh, the sky's not looking too bad over here, but this side over here, it's been thundering a little bit. It's definitely gonna rain. And then after Dalton gets back, we're gonna do my oil change because the lift's available. Yeah, he's on it. I do gotta say though, with Bryce here, we have a sick lineup of cars, man. We got Carl's wide body scat pack right here. Finally just got it back. This thing was in the shop for a long time, getting wide body. Looks phenomenal, came out super nice. Obviously we have my Hell Kitty over here. We got Dalton's Mustang over there. Pretty sick lineup of V8s over here. What I like about Carl's car that he did is he did his entire tail light smoked, where with mine, the inside is smoked, but the outside isn't. I don't know, because I'm kind of going with like a black and red vibe right now on the Hell at, so I think it looks pretty good. But I think in the long term, I am gonna wanna do the fully smoked tail lights like Carl did with his. And he also has five inch tips. I believe mine are only three, so I do wanna go with bigger tips. But this shit looks good. It's making me want a wide body mine, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm kind of a fan of the narrow body. I do like the narrow body Hellcat. After we do the oil change, we're also gonna put on some carbon fiber side skirts carbon fiber, not actually real carbon fiber. Because I destroy shit so fast, I really just don't wanna piss away money. So we're just gonna throw some like eBay carbon fiber on there. Also a carbon fiber front splitter. A lot different than the last one I had, but it still should look pretty clean once we get everything put together. All right, Dal Tizzy's coming back from his little rip. That thing is so obnoxious. I thought mine was obnoxious. That thing's obnoxious as fuck. Oh, I can't, I can't stand it. How bad is the drone? Oh, hor my horrible. Ears, my ears hurt. Yeah. The tires are a little sticky. Got a little bit, a little bit of rocks on I there. One thing, these slicks, not at this PSI, and something's not happy in the front end. Something's not happy in the front end? In the front? Yeah. It, are you sure it's not just body roll? No. How's it's, it feel though, it's other like, than that? It hooks way better, but Yeah, and I mean, slicks are literally meant for the track. So I think if you went with like regular, uh, the street R's, like the radios like I have, oh, I think you'd be fine. Oh, well, that's what I was running before, we were fine. It needs, yeah. It needs the radios for the street, but something, whatever they did, when they did your alignment, whatever they notched, is not happy of you. I'll tell you what, you take off those slicks and you get on those tires, they're perfectly fine.
after a long day, the oil change is done on the Hellcat. We also put the eBay carbon fiber lip on. It's kind of hard to tell, and I'm honestly just too tired to bend down and really show you guys. We also got the carbon fiber side skirts on. I'm just referring to this as carbon fiber because it's carbon fiber print, but in reality, I think it's just like ABS plastic is what they call it. Overall, it definitely adds a little something to the car, and it does look a lot better with a front lip on it. I miss the real carbon lip that I had, but you know, they're super expensive, and with my luck, I always break shit. So I would just be pissing money away putting another real carbon fiber lip on here But overall it definitely looks a lot better now the car just needs a bath fingerprints bugs grease She's getting there man one little step at a time. It has been a long long hot day up at the shop today Tomorrow's cars and coffee at UTC So I wanted to go through get the Hellcat all dolled up looking nice and pretty for tomorrow Did a nice deep clean on the outside went through and did a full detail got the tire dressing on cleaned up the wheels and everything And she is looking very very pretty the camera literally can't even adjust the auto exposure because of how freaking shiny this thing is right now look bro you can literally see my fat ass in the reflection look at that nice and clean the only thing i'm still having trouble coming to terms with is when i bought this car the bumper on it was already kind of messed up because i guess when they were doing a water pump on it they had dropped the water pump on the bumper went through and painted it and did a really really shitty paint job but other than that she's looking pretty good it's hot it's hot Hot as a mother I feel like I say that in the vlog like 37 times a day, but make it's hot as f it's hot as f yeah, Literally <laughs> just to let everybody know hey in case you didn't know hot. it's hot as f Yeah, yeah, the Hellcat's looking f good, baby, and I put the drag pack on so hopefully Ooh, I don't know that one's making me a little nervous over there. Hopefully I'll be good to get home Better go. Yeah, we're gonna be cruising on the way home. See this is what I'm talking about right here very short-lived I literally just put the splitter on two days ago somehow some way miraculously on my way home from the shop I lost the center part of the splitter this side was folded over I just threw that in the trunk, but this is what I'm talking about Could you imagine spending two thousand dollars right hypothetically speaking on a real carbon fiber splitter and then two days later It just flies off and it's gone. This is why I will not buy a real carbon fiber splitter for this car It is just not worth it. Not worth it now I got to take this piece off. You should probably shift, buddy. Uh, I mean, at least I got the side skirts, but now it's going to look goofy again without a front lip. And this would happen right before the car show on Sunday too. And cars and coffee tomorrow. So it's currently Sunday. We finally have a somewhat nice day down here where it's not raining. I did have a few things planned this weekend. I was supposed to go to cars and coffee. I also was supposed to go to Fitment Days up at the Amelie Arena. But we are having some problems with the Hellcat. One of the major, major problems being that every single time I wash this, car and I spray off my wheels, all my wheel weights keep falling off. I don't know if they've been on there for a long time. I don't know exactly what's going on, but needless to say, every time I wash the car, the weights fall off. So right now I have the drag pack on, but my front tires are just completely out of balance. I can't even do like 60 miles an hour without the steering wheel just violently shaking. With that being said, right now we're going to head off to Firestone and hopefully get these front wheels balanced. I do need to get the rear wheels balanced as well, but those are up at the shop right now since I do have the drag pack on. But one thing at a time, I definitely need the front ones balanced right now because I cannot drive this car with the way that it's shaking. So we're at Firestone right now, about to get the front wheels balanced. It's only gonna cost me 30 bucks, which isn't too bad. You guys mind doing me the biggest favor? Absolutely. While it's up there, if you could just take a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the screws for that remaining portion of my front lip so I can take that off. Oh. So if while it's up in the air, if you guys, I think it's like six, six screws under there, it's maybe right like four. That, that yeah. Side. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you guys. And as you guys can tell, it it wasn't raining by my house, but it had just rained over here. The grounds are pretty wet. I still do have the drag pack on, so got to be a little bit careful driving today. These drag packs, they just do not do well in the rain at all. I mean, even pulling into the parking lot over here, my tires were just spinning. I'm just hoping they're going to be able to get it up onto the lift. Oh, she sounds good. Also on my way home the other day, I was getting a little bit of like sway in the rear, which is kind of normal with a drag pack, but it was a little bit too aggressive. I checked the PSI in my drag pack, 14 PSI. So I did air up the tires a little bit. I put them at 25 for now, since I'm kind of just dailying the car. When I go to the track or whatever, I can always lower that PSI down to like 20 or so to be able to hook a little bit better. All right, so unfortunately, the problem that we run into at the shop is well, the lift just does not fit onto the car. The car is a little bit too low. So they're gonna 
move bays over to this one, throw a low profile jack on it and have to do it side by side. Alrighty guys, so it is currently the next day. I made a trip up to the Palmetto Bradenton area. I gotta go to the shop today, pick up the other street tires for the rear. I gotta get those balanced. I still have the drag pack on right now. Also, while I'm up here, I need to swing over by Firkins, which is where I got the Hellcat. I do apologize that this vlog has a lot of car stuff in it, but the weather's just been so rainy that I haven't had time throughout the days to do the stuff that I've needed to do that involve the Hellcat. One of them being right now, I have to go to Firkins where I picked up the Hellcat from, and I had to order a new door card because Hellcats, these older models, are like notorious for peeling. And what I mean by that is if you see over here on the passenger side door card, right at the top by the window, it bows up. They use some sort of adhesive in there and it peeled off. It's really ugly. It's kind of an eyesore. So I ordered a whole new door card, which is this whole panel right here. Don't mind the, the two-tone shit. That's all Carl's fault because he told me to use the certain interior cleaner, which happens to smell and look exactly the same as Diablo wheel cleaner. So that's why that's two different tones, but we are gonna be replacing that entire part right here. So I'm headed off to Firkins to pick that up right now. Somehow, some way, I was able to manage snagging a two year bumper to bumper warranty on this car. That door card is like 200 bucks, but I'm gonna see if maybe I can finagle my way and maybe include that in the bumper to bumper warranty. But we'll see what happens. Regardless, 200 bucks ain't too bad for a new door card. Then after that, we're going to swing by the shop and pick up the rear tires and go get those balanced today. So we picked up the door card from Firkins. While I was there, everybody remembers me and recognizes me. They made me do a fat burnout right in the parking lot. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for it, but I lit up the drag pack right at the Firkins dealership. The door card comes in this big box. So I'm probably going to have to take it out of this box to be able to make room for my tires, which are over there behind the BMW. So that way I can fit everything in here. We got the wheels in, tires in, also got the door card in. The only reason I'm not leaving this at the shop is I do want to install this as soon as possible. I just don't have time to do it today up at the shop. So I'll probably end up doing that install at the house. We're going to get everything closed up. I'm going to head back down towards my house. We'll hit Firestone, get these balanced, and then we'll be good to go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys have all my notifications on. So when I post a new video, you guys get updated. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. The link is literally right in the top of the description. We are trying trying to hit 100,000 followers. And I know with your guys' help, we can definitely do it. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.